In recent years, many Chinese have had the opportunity to travel abroad. While increasing their knowledge, their various uncivilized behaviors have also been brought to the attention of the international community. On June 18, 2024, the Korean online community Jeju Mom Cafe uploaded a post titled, The Chinese are really unacceptable, please check it out. The attached photo shows a person in Liandong, Jeju City next to a tree on a busy street. A little Chinese boy was defecating, and a woman who looked like the child's mother was standing next to him. The uploader wrote in the post, Chinese people have no problem traveling to Jeju Island, but they let their children defecate on the streets. I was very angry as a Jeju Islander, so I called the police. He continued to write, Why do you do this? Koreans use bags to dispose of puppy poop, but this is human poop. Why do you want to taint other countries? As you can see from the photos, the streets are clean, and the woman who is suspected to be the child's mother is also fashionably dressed. But it's really inappropriate for a child to defecate in the public. The Lawson convenience store located in Kawaguchiko Town, Yamanashi Prefecture, Japan, can take pictures of Mount Fuji in Japan and has become a popular check-in attraction for foreign tourists. However, the behavior of tourists occupying sidewalks to take photos, crossing the road regardless of safety, and throwing garbage at will has troubled local people. On May 21, 2024, Kawaguchiko Town used a black sunshade net to cover Mount Fuji, specifically at the place where Mount Fuji was photographed. It also set up a QR code to allow tourists to visit other Mount Fuji attractions. This approach of Kawaguchiko Town has greatly improved the situation of tourists gathering in the local area. But what is shocking is that a video shared by a netizen named Kazumi on Xiaohongshu shows that a mainland tourist dug a hole directly in the black screen in order to take pictures. Chinese netizens feel that our compatriots still have ways to deal with it, and some said, what a shame. The Urban Development Division of Kawaguchiko Town confirmed that the day after the curtain was set up, the local police received a report that tourists were digging holes in the cloth. In just one week on May 28, 13 holes about 1 centimeter in size appeared. Some people also saw Chinese tourists using their fingers to widen the gaps in the black cloth, trying to take pictures with their mobile phones. Some Chinese netizens couldn't help but complain. No wonder we are not welcome everywhere. On January 29, 2018, flights were cancelled at the Tehran airport in Iran due to heavy snowfall. A group of Chinese tourists were trapped in the airport lobby for 40 hours and suddenly shouted, China, China. <laughs> Netizen said, the Chinese people have been shamed overseas. Others said, I suddenly felt that Chinese people like to travel abroad in groups, and the large crowds give people no chance to experience the order and etiquette of the civilized world. According to a report by South Korea's Daily on February 15, 2017, on February 12th, No, a citizen of Jeju, South Korea, posted on Facebook, Chinese people are tearing off the packaging of duty-free goods frantically, and the cleaners silently remove these packaging and pile them like a hill on one side. From the photos uploaded by No, the exit of the Jeju airport waiting room was filled with garbage left by Chinese tourists who went to Jeju to buy hot stuff, and other passengers were avoiding it. In order to reduce the weight of their luggage when checking in, Chinese tourists unpacked many goods purchased from duty-free shops, such as cartons or plastic boxes. Instead of throwing the boxes into the trash can, they threw them on the airport seats and floor. According to reports, the three cleaners responsible for cleaning the site that day took a long time to complete the cleaning. They actually used more than 100 100-liter garbage bags to pack the garbage. Among the famous scenic spots in Kiyomizu Dera Temple, Keoda, Japan, there is Ottawa no Taki, one of Japan's top 10 famous waters, and is a must-visit place for tourists. One day in June 2016, tourists lined up to pray for blessings from the spring water of Ottawa no Taki in a small ladle provided by the temple. A man who spoke Mandarin and appeared to be from mainland China ignored the other tourists waiting in line and jumped directly into the Ottawa no Taki pool, using a large plastic bottle to catch the spring water gushing from above. It's reported that the left side of Ottawa no Taki is the water of academic achievement. The middle is the water of love achievement and the right side is the water of extending lifespan. No matter who you are, you can only choose one kind of water to drink and take only one sip. 
Another disgraced Chinese citizen, when will this phenomenon end? In March 2016, a video of many Chinese tourists grabbing prawns on plates at a buffet restaurant in Chiang Mai, Thailand went viral on the internet. From the video, you can see that Chinese tourists are fiercely grabbing the prawns, but after they finish their meal and leave, there are still a lot of uneaten prawns left on the table, causing waste. Some netizens commented, Chinese people lack material things in childhood and have strong material desires as adults. Domestic prawns are too expensive, and ordinary people cannot afford them. Chinese people have been poor for so long that they have not learned to live a decent life. Many of the older generation were afraid of poverty when they were young, and then told their descendants so this group of people came into existence. Under the CCP system, all Chinese people are really afraid of poverty. On March 15, 2016, Thai Online Media exposed a video showing a Chinese female tourist taking photos while standing upside down at Taipei Gate, a famous tourist attraction in Chiang Mai, Thailand, with her feet in the air. Thai netizens have accused the Chinese female tourist of being too rude. Thais believe that feet are the lowest. Putting her feet in the air is disrespectful to the gods, and she does not know how to respect Chiang Mai's monuments. In July 2013, many tourists visiting Westlake in Zhejiang province soaked their feet in the beautiful Westlake because of the hot weather. Local citizens said that this uncivilized behavior of tourists is very inconsistent with the beautiful scenery of Westlake and makes the heavily polluted lake water even more filthy. In July of the same year, a group of Chinese tourists by the pool outside the Louvre Museum in France also put their feet in the pool to cool off due to the hot weather, leaving the foreigners nearby stunned. Some Chinese netizens commented, immoral and uncivilized. Some people also appealed, cut me some slack, what a shame, can the Chinese people improve their quality? Chinese tourists often write, come here on scenic spots, climb scenic spots, insult flight attendants, wash their feet in the sink, spit everywhere, make loud noises in public places, litter, skip queues, take more from buffets and waste, etc. This situation makes Chinese people feel embarrassed. China has always been known as the land of etiquette. For the past 5,000 years, China's traditional culture has had connotations such as heaven, Tao, God, Buddha, benevolence, righteousness, etiquette, wisdom, and trust. Before the CCP ruled China, Chinese etiquette had always advocated for and had deeply influenced Asian countries such as South Korea and Japan. But the CCP has completely destroyed the Chinese people's etiquette, justice, and integrity. After the CCP seized power, it began to destroy Chinese traditional culture systematically, especially during the 10-year Cultural Revolution from 1966 to 1976. Ancient cultural relics, monuments, calligraphy and paintings, precious antiques and historical books that had been inherited for thousands of years in China were destroyed from the artifact level. It also seriously changed people's lifestyles, including festivals, etiquette, entertainment, food, clothing, housing and transportation, etc destroying the Chinese people's thousands of years of respecting heaven, believing in gods, and being kind to others. For example, people think it's good to be clean and tidy, but Mao Zedong, the first leader of the Communist Party of China, said that the hands are covered in mud and the calluses are rubbed off, and the hands are black and the feet are covered with cow dung. Only such people have a red mind and can attend university, join the party, and be promoted. During that period, the Beijing authorities eliminated precious traditional Chinese culture from all classes through campaigns such as fighting against landlords, fighting against capitalists, anti-rightism, and the Cultural Revolution, and regarded 5,000 years of Chinese culture, etiquette, morality, and the belief in gods as feudal ideas that were sublated. Foreigners do not understand that Chinese tourists do not pay attention to hygiene and do not pay attention to their image. This is also the result of the CCP's systematic destruction of China's thousands of years of traditional culture. At the same time, this Red Party used party culture to reshape Chinese people. After the Cultural Revolution, China entered a period of reform and opening up in the 1980s, and the brainwashing of party culture took another form. The slogan of the Beijing authorities is, Let some people get rich first, to guide the Chinese people who have lost their souls to profit and lure the Chinese people to find ways to make more money. Then, they suppress the June 4th movement, shattering the conscience of the Chinese people, and leading the entire people to look at money. Many mainlanders believe that if you have money, you are the boss. If I spend money, you have to serve me. If I spend money, whatever I do is right. 
Today's China has become a power society, meaning whoever has power can do whatever they want and break all the rules. Then the Chinese people felt they would suffer a loss if they abided by order. That's all for today. Please remember to give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a message, and share it with your friends. Thank you for being so supportive. See you in the next episode.